The mutilated body of Oswald Downs was found early Christmas morning in 2015 during Juve celebrations in Bellevue. The festive Christmas celebration took a back seat to the vicious cutlass attack that left Downs, a father of two and a former correctional officer, dead on a pavement. Several party-goers corroborated accounts of the blade of the attacker's cutlasses striking Downs' body relentlessly before he collapsed to the concrete. The gruesome details of the assault left the community stunned. Four men were detained. News Force was on the scene on that fateful night almost five years ago and spoke to the mother of the deceased, Lorna Seelys, who expressed hope that justice would be delivered in a reasonable time. By the time he left the vehicle, he was just about 100 feet away from the vehicle. Four fellows attacked him and um, they gave him a lash on the, his side. The first lash he got was on his side and his intestines came out and he held it and he was trying to run. But um, when he fell, the guys um, actually chopped him, they stabbed him, they, they did everything they wanted to do to him. So uh, right now, I don't know. I just do not know how this thing triggered, but um, God alone knows and God saw everything that happened. I wasn't there, but if um, he, nobody deserved to die the way he did, because not even a, a dog you'll take and, and chop like that, because you know, you'll still have a conscience to do a dog that much as a human being. So I am just saying that um, I hope these guys are brought to, to justice. Five years later, and Lorna Seelys still waits for the closure of elusive justice. The four men who were reportedly assisting the investigators are still on remand at the Bodily Correctional Facility pending trial. Seven correspondent Desmond Collymore caught up with Seelys on Tuesday. She says her son's name is among the long list of individuals whose violent deaths are in the stack of the huge pile of backlog cases that remain unresolved. It's almost five years and I have not heard anything from the justice system, which is really painful for my family because this was a young man who had a lot of potential. He was only 38 years when he was murdered. And um, the guys who murdered him, they are, they are still at remand in um, at Bodily. What I'm saying is, you know, we have no confidence in the justice system right now because we are not hearing anything about these cases, especially cases like um, Shaka Dan, um, Kimberly Leon. We have that young man who just died the other day, I can't remember his name, Arnold Joseph. And to me, these, these crimes have to stop in this country. We need the justice system to, to step up. Celis remembers her son as an avid football player. The lack of justice, she believes, emboldens criminals to act with impunity, knowing that the system is slow and terribly flawed. The grieving mother claims the lack of communication from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution on the case is even more worrying. My children are asking me, Mommy, why isn't the case going on? And I cannot give an answer because nobody from the prosecution office has ever called to say, OK, this case is going to be heard this week or that week. I know they have a backlog of cases, but at least give us some consolation by saying, OK, the case is going to start this week, next month. I have to leave the country soon. And I don't know how, how this case is going to turn out. And then the other thing too, they will say these guys have served how many years at, at, board, at, at, at remand. So when the, the case is fully heard, they will tell you, okay, I, I sentenced them 20 years in prison, but they have already served 10 years at, at, in remand and then they'll reduce the charges and these young men will just come back on the street and then commit the same crimes again. So we need a more rigid justice system in St. Lucia and I think the powers that be. Celis recounts the excruciating pain of having to bury her child. Now that grief is made worse by the apparent lack of progress on the case. 
like countless other St. Lucians, it's the all-too-common refrain of justice delayed, justice denied. Sola Jalfred, HTS News Force.